work on a squat. I kind of like this side pull better, but that doesn't mean that it has to only be from the side. It can be a little bit from a diagonal or it can be fully pulling behind. You'll know because when you go to do the squat, you'll feel better sitting into the affected hip, which is what we're looking for. In essence, meaning typically when you squat down, you're like, man, it always pinches right around here. The point of the band is that it's helping the joint itself get pulled and mobilized so that when you go down, it's easier for you to go down and you elicit no to very little pinch. Then you know the band is at a good pull and a good direction. So that may be dependent upon you. Now, what I'd like you to practice is that your feet are hip width distance apart, your toes stay pointed forward, and have a chair behind you so that you can reach back for that chair with your butt, your knees stay in line with your toes and behind your toes, and you come up. And the point of that is to work your hip capsule with angles that are not what you usually do of kind of twisting out, going forward too much, or maybe your feet are really out and your knees go in. So you're really trying to challenge all the compensatory twists and pulls that happen down your legs from up here and letting the squat happen, everything parallel, come up and again, if this angle works better for you, great. If doing the squat with the pull is too hard, switch to an all fours position where again, you are approximating your chest or belly to the thigh and you can work on pushing back and you can even add a rotation. Say, this is internal rotation. You're going to push back. And again, you're looking for less pinch in the front of the hip. So that's how you can work a mobility band with good motion.